Hello, beloved. Hello to everyone who is listening to the sound of my voice. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're staying strong. I hope you are trusting God through it all. I hope you're walking in the light of um, God's word. And I hope that you are focusing on God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I hope that your mind is stayed on Christ. And I hope that irrespective of the situation and the circumstances of life, that you are keeping faith and moving on. And I hope that you are living your life fearless, bold, courageous, and staying the one that God created you to be. In a season and in a time that hearts are failing, minds are troubled, tension very high, fear abounds, anxiety at its peak, hopelessness and depression the other of the day. I am here today, beloved, with a message of hope for someone, for you. I want you to know that through it all, God has not left you. Your life matters. Everything about you matters to God. And just as his eyes are still on the sparrow, his eyes are still on you. God is watching over you. Yes, and all that concerns you, he is watching over everything that concerns you. Remember, he's the one who created you. So he knows you by your name and by your address. He has not for once turned his back on you, though sometimes it appears or looks so, and though it seems so. He is interested in every detail of your life, not just about the big things, but also every little detail of your life. In the book of Isaiah 49 verse 16, Let's see what Isaiah 49, 16 says. Isaiah 49, 16 says, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. It says, see, look, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. God is letting you know that he has inscribed you on the palms of his hands. If you read another translation, NIV, it says, For I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. That means God has carved you. He has marked you and inscribed you on the palm of his hands. This shows how precious and how much you mean to him. This shows that God has marked you for life on his palms. Think and ponder on this. That means every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, and every year, he has you in his hands. Oh, glory. What a privilege it is. You have been carved on the palms of God's hands. Hallelujah. It means anytime God looks at his palms, he remembers you. He thinks of you. Yes. Someone might be asking how possible is it for him to remember all the names, especially when there are so many of us with the same name. Maybe you've forgotten or maybe you don't know. God is all knowing and God is all seeing. He is divine. He is omniscient. He is God almighty. He is the I am that I am. He knows when you are down or when you're feeling worthless. When things are falling out of place or when things are falling apart. He knows it when things are getting out of hand. Chaotic. He still got you all together. When things are not working out the, the right way or the way you want to see them, uh, the way you want to see things go, he is still there reassuring you that all is well. And he's got you all together. And he still has his eyes on you. 
When you feel confused, when you're broken, when you're bruised, when you're disappointed, he's still there reassuring you that all is well, no matter the situation. When you are being tossed to and fro by the waves of life, beloved, I want you to remember this, my brother, my sister. His eyes are always on the sparrow, consistently on the sparrow, continuously on the sparrow. And if his eyes are always on the sparrow, how much more you? He cares so much about you, beloved. If God cares so much about the sparrow, which is a small bird that is so insignificant, how much more you who is born of his spirit. God cares so much about you. We all know that a sparrow is a small bird, very small in size. But if you read the book of Psalm 102, verse 7, Psalm 102, verse 7, it says something about the sparrow there, which means spiritually, this little bird re represents sadness, depression, insignificance, and loneliness. So if you are in a state of depression right now, maybe you're feeling so insignificant, maybe you're feeling lonely, maybe you are sad, I want you to know that God has got you covered, that God is there for you, and that God has his eyes on you, and that you mean so much to God, even more than the birds of the air. So this demonstrates how much we are, uh, how, how important we are to God. If a little bird with a physical insignificance means so much to God, how much more we humans, how much more you, my brother, my sister, which means in your trying times, in your difficult moments, he is still watching over you. Yes, God is still watching over you. If you read the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 26. Let's quickly go to the book of Matthew 6. From verse 26, Matthew 6. It says, from 26, it says, Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into bands. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? In other words, these birds of the air, they don't plant, they don't sow, they don't walk, they don't even do anything at all. But yet, God takes care of them. So, which means, if God takes care of the birds of the air, why worry? If you read down up to, up to, let's say, okay, let's say up to 31, it's making us to know that there's no point worrying because if God cares so much about the birds of the air, he cares about you. Yes, God cares about you. So there's no need for you to worry. There's no need for you to um, be disturbed. There's no need for you to be discouraged. There's no need for you to um, feel dejected. God, even in a time like this that the world is going through, so much that people are going through so much i want you to always remember that god has got you his eyes are on the sparrow and he cares so much about you let's quickly go to luke 12 verse 7 luke chapter 12 verse 7 let's see what it says okay luke 12 verse 7 says but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. So this is where I got my message from. It says, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Numbered by who? Numbered by God himself, the creator of the universe, the one who created you. The Bible says in Luke chapter 12 verse 7, it says that God has numbered your hair. Every one of them. It says, do not fear glory. 
Do not be afraid. Do not be worried. Do not be disturbed. Do not be perturbed. Do not be discouraged. He says, for you are of more value than many sparrows. Glory to God. I encourage you today, my brother, my sister. If God can feed the birds of the air, how much more are you? Are you not worth more than they are? That's what the Bible says. Are you not more precious than they are? So God knows your need. He feels what you feel. You are not forgotten. God cares for you. Fear not, therefore. Do not be afraid. Even in a time like this, when the hearts of men, you know, hearts are failing, where people are, are, are becoming even more dis depressed as the day goes on or as the day goes by, God's got you and he watches over you. I guess no one must have told you that the road you're on won't be easy. But one thing I came here today to tell you is that for sure, God didn't bring you this far, my brother, my sister, to leave you. If his eyes are still on the sparrow, he is also watching over you. So I will leave you with this prayer today, knowing that God cares so much about you, knowing that God is faithful, and knowing that with God, you can scale through. He is able to lead you on. So for you who is watching and listening to me right now i pray in the most powerful name of jesus christ that your strength be renewed from day to day may the lord replenish you spiritually emotionally mentally physically materially and financially i decree peace in every area of your life where you are restless and where you feel so uneasy anxious or troubled i decree joy where you are sorrowful. I declare restoration in all the waste places of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare hope where there is hopelessness. I pray that where there is fear, let faith take over. Yes, where there is fear, I decree, let faith take over. In the place of depression, I decree, let there be bliss, let there be gladness, let there be high spirits, let there be laughter, let there be positivity and happiness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where there is darkness, I decree that the light of God will shine forth and illuminate the dark places. I come against every spirit of fear and every spirit of anxiety, doubt, depression, confusion, and chaos. I come against that spirit of restlessness, sorrow, pain, agitations, weariness, discouragement, and hopelessness in the most powerful name of Jesus. Even when the days get darker, I declare that you will stand the test of time. In the place of lack, I pray for God's abundance and supernatural supply. I pray for emotional, psychological, mental, and physical healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for Nigeria today. I pray for Africa. I pray for Europe. I pray for for overseas i pray for asia i pray for all the nations of the earth that the hands of the supreme god the father and our, of our lord and savior jesus christ be revealed and his eternal will be done in jesus mighty name for it is well with your soul god is watching over you you mean so much to him and his eyes are on you all the time because you have been carved and inscribed on the palms of his hands god bless you stay strong keep pushing keep going for god knows it all and he will always be there for you irrespective of what you go through god bless you we will see in my next video and i love you i love you and i love you God bless you. But Jesus loves you even much more. Bye-bye.